Bye bye, sweet car. I will miss you. Hey, what's up? Welcome back. I'm here at Toyota, as you can see. Very impulsive. Today, I'm probably gonna change, gonna swap my BRZ which uh, I love, but it's not too practical, especially when I'm taking the kids to soccer. I'm taking three kids, three grown-up kids to soccer, fitting in that little, uh, in those two seats in the back. So I'm gonna go with an FJ Cruiser. How about that? I've heard so much about it. I've, I have I took it for a test drive, and uh, I'm feeling like more off-road. It's really a nice truck. Uh, more like a SUV, great truck. There's few options I tried. I test drove both of them. This was a 2010 uh, FJ, FJ Cruiser with a lot of uh, add, a lot of additions in it. Uh, backup camera, the roof rack, but it's a bit pricey. And then there's another one, different color, the red maroon one. It's a tw 2008. Uh, way more miles, 100, 108,000 miles. That one right there, 108,000 miles, four owners. The silver one, which uh, is only 53,000 miles, two owners, but it's like a $9,000 price difference. I'm trying to squeeze in a deal where uh, I'll pretty much swap in my car for this car. This is the 2008 with 105,000 miles. It's got a lot of additions to it. These rails, it does not have a roof rack but it has nice tires it has a front bumper uh, like a chrome bumper thing whatever you want to call it four owners four owners but the main thing it does not does not have cruise control does not have uh, the upgraded sound system does not have a backup camera does not have cruise control or reverse assist or rear differential lock and they want like 15 for it and the truth is it doesn't ride that smooth as the 2010 that I'm gonna show you right now this one the other one is a 2010 it's standard it's got uh, a little more bells and whistles it's got this uh, gauge cluster over here with the tilt uh, a compass it's got a upgraded sound system a lot of traction control rear differential park assist rear backup camera uh, mirror with t with a, a monitor on it it's got cruise control and it's got only 53,000 miles two owners and it's 2010 but they want like six seven or eight thousand dollars more so i'm trying to work them on the price and it's got a nicer color silver color so and it does have a roof rack crunching the numbers the sales the sales people over here are running to the other room every time we have i give an, a counter offer they run to the other room do their calculations and uh you know they're playing the game, they're playing this 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 game that oh let me check my numbers and I and I check my numbers and they go back, go back to the other room probably drink a little bit of coffee come back two minutes later and say oh, okay uh, I just checked the numbers it's a it's a back and forth game I don't I don't really think they run the numbers they just waste time see oh let me just try and stretch it anyway I toss uh, these two cars that I've seen are really nice so um, let's hope for I get some good news. So I'm, I'm literally saying goodbye to my my BRZ, taking all the stuff, the dash cam, which was very helpful. Thankfully, I didn't have any accidents, so I was really, but it was, I should have had it actually on my daughter's car because she had an accident that that would have helped me. Gonna move it to, my, to the new car. Gotta make sure I got everything out of this car, even old coins. This is all the garbage for one, one year of garbage collected in my car bye bye sweet car i will miss you always remember you that's it the time is the time has come i'm, I'm gonna step into my new car both license plate are still here finally done with all the paperwork it's 
Cessna 520. I got to the dealership at one o'clock. I drove two cars. I took a uh, test, drove two cars. Uh, the whole deal was like around three hours and one last one hour is just waiting for the insurance card to arrive. You know, my friends uh, overseas uh, are so envy and they say, wow, you know, doing deals, buying cars in the States, in America is so nice and so easy. And to them, I say, you're absolutely right. This was so easy. And I just, you know, it's just fun. It's just fun changing cars. Uh, I don't know, I guess you only live once, so enjoy life. If it's, if I can afford it and uh, and it's fun, then, then I'm just doing it. It's just like, I'm gonna have fun with this car, uh, drive it around, do some upgrades with it, and literally have uh, more space for the family, for kids.